you know, I feel that at Mount Ararat here, there is somewhat of a um, less than optimal student participation or, or pride in the in the athletic program, and I'm not sure if that's something because of all the other attractive alternatives they have, but it is something that I certainly would like to see more students involved and more and more community members too. So uh, that's uh, it's good that you Bill, have that experience. Well, and, and and I'll share this with you, but that's that's been uh, you're not alone. Uh, folks that I've met through my entry plan here over the last four weeks, uh, everybody I've spoken to, including the student athletes, they want more of their peers uh, to participate. And uh, I think that's my job as the athletic director. I think it's the job of, of the folks I'm going to meet with this afternoon, the varsity coaches, the JV coaches. Um, you know, you've seen that car commercial, this isn't your grandfather's Buick. It's, it, athletics have changed over the last 12 or 15 years. And the varsity coach um, needs to be a little bit of a salesman. You need to promote your program uh, because there are so many other options for our young people that you need to you need to sell them. You need to tell the importance of being part of of a great program. Uh, and I certainly can do that from my athletic experience in in, in high school, being uh, a tenth or twelfth man on a basketball team, or being uh, a kid that only got up six times his senior year on a baseball team. There's values of being a role player and it can be valuable to them as well as the team. So certainly uh, that's been clear through my entry that that's one of the goals that, that's going to be on the forefront. And well, what do you see as your biggest challenge at Mount Ararat? Well, I think the biggest... Too early to do well, uh, I think the biggest challenge, in it, and I just uh, met with a couple of people this morning, you know, the athletic stuff, um, working with the MPA, working with, the, with other ADs in the KVAC, I think uh, those things are, are going to be a natural transition for me. I think the piece for me is, uh, I say this all the time, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So I think the biggest piece for me transitioning into Mount Ararat is to meet folks like yourself, meet the Booster Club, meet the student athletes and let them know that um, you know I'm an eagle uh, and I want uh, everything they do to be successful and, and I want to help them be successful. So I think that's the biggest transition piece for me. Uh, and biggest challenge right now. Great. Now, Mount Ararat in the last five years or so has added two new varsity sports. So they've added Nordic cross country and girls hockey um, to two organizations that pretty much have done it themselves. Sure. Um, and I, I think that the Nordic's getting a little financial aid now. Yeah. Um, but you know, how do you see that evolving as, as it moves forward? Well, I, I think it is in any community, I think it's the job of the school and the athletic department to provide opportunities where our students are interested. And certainly uh, having Nordic skiing, having girls ice hockey were two areas that there was a need and there was an interest from our student body that, that we need to meet. Um, you know, still trying to get my hands around the financial piece and figure out who's paying for what and Certainly in this economic climate, we, we have to be respectful and, and sensitive to those needs. But I will share with you uh, my days at Lake Region. One of the things I missed going from Lake Region to Westbrook was the skiing element. Um, skiing at Lake Region kind of evolved me as an athletic director to see um, the camaraderie and the teamwork that, that the ski programs have, whether it's Nordic or, or downhill alpine. Those kids uh, work hard. They work hard as a team. They respect their competitors. It, it's a great program, and it, it's something that I'm going to enjoy getting my getting back uh, part of the program. And then girls ice hockey. I, I'm a little sensitive to that right now. I mean, I had two sons, and now we've uh, three years ago had a had a little girl. So certainly, uh, I am a huge advocate of Title IX and giving equal opportunity for for young ladies. So. Um, if there's an interest there, and it certainly sounds like they've had a terrific summer in the summer league with uh, some of their competition, so I'm excited to to uh, to watch the the Lady Eagle skate. 